Hello, and welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator. We're getting ever closer to level 30, which currently is max rank in this game. So, let's get into our email. Let's see what we've got for today. This first email says, Hiya, I'm in the market for a new PC. I want the system cooled with a custom loop, and you get it done in eight days. I know used parts can be cheaper, but I'd like new ones, please. Have you heard of, heard, can't even speak. Have you heard of EK Waterblock? They're meant to be pretty good. So a budget of $3,500 to build a PC with a custom loop. All right, let's go ahead and accept that one. This next one says, hi, I was given this computer second hand, but I want to upgrade it already so I won't run into any problems down the line. I wasn't sure what might be necessary, but my friend said that the graphics card is the main thing for games, so that's what I've been researching. Originally, I was torn between getting a Kingpin and an Aorus Extreme Edition, but after reading a few articles and comparing benchmarks online, I've decided to go for the Kingpin. They're both good cards, but I'm just a little more confident in the specs on the Kingpin. Happy to pay up to $1,000 for you to fit one. Just don't tell the other guys on the PC Expert Zone forums. I've already got into about half a dozen flame wars over it. Oh, and could you clean the computer out for me as well? I'm actually allergic to dust, so that would be a very big help. Alright. So he wants a EVGA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti Kingpin installed. Let's go ahead and accept that one. Let's actually go on into the shop and let's just order the Kingpin. Oh yeah, it's spelled spelled funny like that. It's not actually an I. All right, let's go ahead and add that to the cart. We've already got it in there. We don't have to worry about that. Take a look real quick. Okay, he's got a nice big case. No problems there. And the last email for today says, "Good day. I'm in the market for a new PC. I really want to get a I really want to get decent FPS in Overwatch. I need it before tomorrow." I read that Patriot parts are really good. I know used parts can be cheaper, but I'd like new ones, please. So he wants a PC before tomorrow. Not by tomorrow. All right. So he wants a PC that can play Overwatch at recommended spec. Sure, why not? Let's go ahead and accept that one. We may have to order everything and have it same day delivered just so we don't miss out on this build. All right. So let's go back to this one. I'm going to step away and get some parts put into the shopping cart. And as soon as I've got something together, I will come right back and show you guys. All right. So for the custom water cooling, custom water cooled PC, we're going to go with the ASRock Z390 Extreme 4 an i7, a 9700K, a data Spectrix D60G, RAM 8 gig, 3200 megahertz, we're gonna get two sticks of those, an a data M.2, it's two terabytes, power supply 550 watt FSP Hydro, we're gonna put that in the NZXT H700i dead stick case. As for the water cooling, the CPU block is an EK, the res is an EK, a 360 millimeter EK radiator, and we're going to go with the EK GTX 1080 Ti in Plexi. All right, so for this uh, other PC here, let's pull up Will It Run? We want Overwatch. There it is, a recommended spec. So here's the recommended spec for Overwatch. Uh, I'm going to step away, get some more parts put into the shopping cart, and be right back. Alright, so for this Overwatch build again, here is the recommended spec. We're going to go with the Gigabyte H370 Aorus Gaming 3 motherboard and i7-8700, the Gigabyte ATC700 air cooler, four sticks of Patriot Viper, 8 gig, 2666 megahertz a Gigabyte RTX 2070, a Gigabyte Aorus 
850 watt power supply, a one terabyte Patriot Viper M.2 drive, a four terabyte Seagate Barracuda, and we're gonna pack all of that into the Corsair Crystal Series 570X RGB case. All right, so I'm gonna get everything delivered same day so we can do this uh, Overwatch build, then we'll end our day, get in the upgrade, and then we can build our other rig. So, uh, let's see, go back to the shop. I'm going to do a same day delivery on this, and then I will do a next day delivery on all the water cooling parts because they don't need to be in until tomorrow. Let's go ahead and buy that. All right, so let me get the right name for this. Phillips. Phillips a Javender? I don't know. Phillips, where are you, Phillips? Let's get your important PC built quick. Let's see, this is the Crystal series, so that is his case. Let's go ahead and grab this other case and we can plop it over here. Take a look at that. That's that dead stick case I haven't built in. I've built in the H700i, but not the dead stick. That's a cool looking case. I like that. All right. Let's get to work on building this Overwatch PC. Get these side panels taken off of here. And we don't need to take anything out of the front because we're putting air cooling in. So let's get our motherboard. Oh, did I not collect the PC parts? Nope, sure didn't. That's pretty typical of me. All right, now, now that we've gotten our motherboard, let's get that installed. Let's get this thing ready for RAM and the CPU. And we'll see if the M.2 drive happens to fit in there. Let's take a look at that first. Let's see, it's this a Patriot Viper. Doesn't fit there, but it does fit there. So that works just fine for me. All right, let's get our 8700 non-K version. And let's get our RAM. So this Patriot Viper RAM. Let's go fix this PC. And let's get it all installed. All right. Get some thermal paste on the CPU. And we can go ahead and get our Gigabyte ATC 700 cooler installed. Get that out of the way and we can get graphics card put in. Does the Gigabyte RTX 2070 Extreme Edition. All right, let's get our four terabyte hard drive installed as well as our power supply also gigabyte okay let's get this thing cabled up should be ready oops not that I want the cable let's see gigabyte stuff's kind of orange so let's do these orange cables hopefully they'll look nice in this case Get the hard drive wired. There we go. Let's throw a USB drive in here. And let's see if this thing powers on. Okay. I doubt we need to do anything in the BIOS. Oops. In the BIOS. But let's... Let's restart. And hop into the BIOS real quick. 
There we go. Yeah, because this motherboard maxes out at 2666 megahertz. So should be good there. Let's make sure we're booting from the right drive. Now we'll let this thing restart. All right, let's change a few colors and then we will be done with this build. Just try to make everything match the Aorus colors maybe. See how that works for us. So we want that color in the Crystal series and not do that. I don't need to select that. Now not make. What is happening? Normally I can just select like the gigabyte thing here and it pulls up the color that I want. All right, it's 255, 113. Let me remember that. Just select all. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice. Close that out. Let's get these side panels put on. We can get this thing out in the hall, collect the money from it, and then we can end our day. Yeah, that looks nice. I like those colors. All right, let's put this thing out in the hall. Let's hop over here. Let's go ahead and collect this one. We got some new parts. The Silverstone ST1500 Ti. I'm assuming that's a 1500 watt power supply. All right, let's go end our day. And then we can finish up with the upgrade and the other build that we have to do. What is this? Missing parts. Yeah, there's nothing in it. All right. Toss that in the closet for now. Ooh, that thing's filthy. And here's all of our water cooling parts. So we're ready for that. Let's get started on this filthy thing first, though. This upgrade. That is absolutely disgusting. Let's grab our compressed air and see if we can clean this up. My personal recommendation would have been for him to upgrade his power supply as well, but that's just me. There we go. How's that looking? Let's get this graphics card out. See what that thing was, like a 960? Yep, a 960. Let's get his ink pen installed. No. Oh. Let's cable it up. Let's make sure that it boots. What the heck are these two fans doing? Are they just cooling his hard drive? He doesn't have any front fans. All right. Whatever. Let's get this case put back together. We'll put this thing on that they call a handle that just looks like a piece of plastic. And we can get this thing out into the hallway. 
We can start working on this water-cooled build in this a really cool case. Get this case all pulled apart. Let's see, we're not gonna need those. Get rid of those, they don't look nice. Let's see. Will the top hold a 360 millimeter radiator? Let's find that out first. It will. That fan's gonna have to go. That could be okay though. I mean, we've got three fans pushing in and then the three top fans exhausting out, I would assume. I think that would work. Let's get the motherboard installed. This is the ASRock Z390 Extreme 4. Let's get this thing ready for RAM and CPU. And we'll see if our M.2 drive happens to fit under there. Let's try that first. This A data, two terabyte. Whoops, and it does. I almost unscrewed it back out of there. All right, whoops, not cooling on a processor. Let's get our 9700K in here. And then we've got two sticks of A-Data Spectrix. We'll get that installed. Let's go ahead and put thermal paste on here and we can get the CPU block installed, which is this EK all black. Oh yeah, that looks good. Some of these out of the way. Let's go ahead, get our GPU in. It's the 1080 Ti. And while we're here, let's go ahead and get our reservoir installed. Hop back over to the parts. We can get our power supply, which is this FSP Hydro. Let's unplug it though, and let's go ahead and put this PSU mount on. All right, we should be ready to cable this thing up. Let's do this though, because I forgot to grab the post-it note. And put that on the desk, on the workbench. So at least we know what we're doing here. All right, let's cable this thing up. I think I'm going to go with the loose white cables because this is a nice white case. Get everything cabled up here. Okay. Now we can start running our pipe or tubing. Let's use rigid. Let's see, can I read? So that's out. So we're gonna run from there. Let's see. I wanna run from the pump and reservoir in. I wanna run out up here. Let's move this a little bit so it looks a little nicer though. Then we're gonna run from the radiator into the GPU. Let's see, that says out. So we're gonna run from the GPU into the reservoir. And then from the reservoir into the CPU block. That's not gonna work. If we can't 
work around this here. Well, let's undo. Let's just redo this one. We're going to run from there to the inside. But let's drop this thing down. Just a bit. It's not blocking. Now we can run into there just fine. Let's adjust this. That works for me. All right. Get some coolant installed. Let's see, what do we got? White opaque might look good in here in this white case. So while that's running through, let's go ahead. We will get our USB drive installed. Wait for this coolant to run through all the lines. Then we can power it up. I'm gonna hop into the BIOS. Turn our XMP on. We'll let this thing boot up. We're gonna have to change some colors. I'm not a fan. Let's install our lighting app. Make it match the dead stick color. Yeah, that can work. Close that out. Let's get this case all put back together now. Get the side panel on. Get this top panel mounted. And we'll get this front. There we go. Let's take a look at it. I think that turned out pretty nice. Let's go put this thing out in the hall. Let's collect some money. Alright, so here's the guy that wanted the kingpin. We got that installed for him. Whoops. Get rid of that. Here's the PC we just bought. Let's collect that one. Got some new parts. Got uh, some a 2070 Super, 2080 Ti, a colorful, and a gigabyte RTX 2070 in white. Very nice. All right, let's get rid of that. Got some daily deals, and we got a few more emails for our next episode. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a video goes live. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode.